find the cumulative distribution function associated with the probability density function f of x equals x over 8 to find for x values between 0 and 4 and then use the cumulative distribution function to find the probability that the random variable x falls between 1 and 3. So in this case the cumulative distribution function f of x is the probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to little x and in this case over the interesting portion of this distribution which is the support of x this is going to be the integral from 0 up to x of w over 8 dw and that turns out to be w squared over 16 evaluated from 0 to x and when you plug in x you get x squared over 16 and when you plug in 0 you get 0 and again that is defined on the interesting part of the distribution which is the support which runs from 0 to 4. So to write capital F of X carefully it's got to be again written in three pieces. That is F of X equals 0 for X less than or equal to 0. It is X squared over 16 for x values between 0 and 4 and finally it is 1 for x values greater than or equal to 4. So we've got all the different portions accounted for. Now to look at this problem geometrically here is x and here is little f of x and the function f of x equals x divided by 8 defined from 0 to 4 is basically a ramp going up and then it cuts off at 4. The cumulative distribution function which we just calculated and we'll put it right below the probability density function not surprisingly the integral of a line in this case is a parabola and so in this case f of x equals x squared over 16 it's 0 over here and then it's 1 for x values greater than 1. Now the next thing we want is we want the probability that x will lie between 1 and 3. The way we're used to doing that is we just mark off 1 here and 3 there and we could just integrate the probability density function between 1 and 3 and we'd get the uh, solution. But instead here it says use the cumulative distribution function to find that probability and that can be done in the following fashion. The probability that x lies between 1 and 3 is the probability x is greater or less than or equal to 3 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. Now because the random variable is continuous you don't have to worry so much about these being strictly less than and these two being less than or equal to. That is to say this is capital F of 3 minus capital F of 1 and those can be computed up here using capital F of X that is going to be 9 divided by 16 minus 1 divided by 16, that's 8 sixteenths or 1 half. So 1 half is indeed this area right here, but it is also the difference in height between this point, which is at a height of 9 sixteenths, minus this point right there, which is at a height of 1 sixteenth.